What's going on everybody? Jake here as usual. I hope everyone is staying very happy and very healthy out there. Today was day 17 of Wim Hof's cold showers with his breathing technique. Now I'll say this every single video, it was different today and it's gonna be different tomorrow and it's gonna be different the next day and the next day. Cause every time I experience a cold shower, something new happens either inside of my body, outside, or after the shower before it doesn't matter there's always a new experience every time every time i noticed when doing this and today i want to um kind of talk about the importance of breathing and how important that is with cold showers so today today shower is actually really really cold i don't know why it just happened to be like 20 times colder than usual so which was good which is a good thing to challenge myself um but today I noticed that just focusing and honing in on your breath so is so, so, so important. So when I noticed how cold it was, I took a second and I stopped and I really, really focused on breathing into the stomach, into the chest, into the head as Wim Hof recommends, and then slightly letting out and then repeating again. Um, this is just very, very helpful um, in, in numerous ways first to calm down your body um, and another the, calming down the body in a way that uh, when the cold water hits your body it's not as um, worse as a feeling because you're practicing that breathing which um, allows you to calm like your whole entire st releases stress calms your whole entire body down and so when you do get that feeling it's not as uh, worse as it was a little bit ago and I noticed that as I slowly focused on and just really kept my mind focusing on my breath too. I'm, I wasn't, my mind wasn't wandering off to other things. I just kept on thinking about how I was breathing. Like, okay, I'm gonna start into my stomach, then I'm gonna go to my chest, then I'm gonna go to the head. Just keep on doing that, keep on trying that. And the cold water that was hitting my body, it, it slowly goes away and you don't think about it anymore. So that's something that's very helpful uh, just to do. Also, days 11 to 20, as Wim Hof is recommending to do push-ups, the push-up challenge. Just do a bunch of push-ups when you get out. Uh, breathing in this helps so much because you want to control your breath when you are doing push-ups and coming, you know, down and on the way up. You know, you're inhaling on the way down, you're <sighs> exhaling on the way up. So controlling your breath not only in the in the um in the shower, but out of the shower when you do the push-ups for days 11 to 20, and when you're out of the shower also to practice that normal breath because you know, as your body gets out and the temperature changes, you want to make sure you're practicing that breath because it's just the breath now. No water's on you. Now it's just you and your breath. And practicing breathing in general is something that is just so important and so overlooked because a lot of us tend to, as I definitely mentioned in a previous video, we tend to breathe into our shoulders, into our neck because we're always stressed. We're always, every day we're stressed. So just really focus on that's why i love how wim hof has us doing the breathing alongside with the cold shower because it's just so important um to not to leave out breathing is just very vital so you want to put that in with the cold water so i understand why he does it and it's very very important so other than that everything was perfect everything went well uh, no complaints uh, like i said today's water was very cold but that's very good. It might be a little bit less cold tomorrow. It might be even colder tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm ready for the challenge, and I hope you guys will keep on joining me. Day 18 tomorrow. Stay happy and safe. Peace.